What's up guys, welcome to your 26 Android tutorial for the new Boston, again with me Travis. What we're going to be doing in this tutorial is basically getting our toggle button working. We're also going to introduce what the final, um, basically making a variable final and what that is in Java. So what we're going to do is we're going to have this toggle button and we're going to set up a on click listener because it's, I mean, it's kind of a good review because we've done this in the past as well and you guys will get familiar with this because it is kind of confusing the first time you see it but again we defined all of our variables up here and the reference to the XML we created a toggle button called pass tog and it's having this yellow error because we aren't using it so what we're going to do is we're going to set up the on click listener by typing out the variable name again within our on create bracket so it'll be the you know within the second bracket right here and so we're going to say pass tog and then we can set the on click listener by hitting dot set on click listener and there's also an option of set check change listener but I want to use the set on click listener because uh, later I'm going to introduce something else so use the set on click listener and again uh, we're just going to finish off the bracket right here before we uh, define our on click listener just so we don't get confused within all these brackets and all this code that's going on so again we don't have an on click listener so we're going to say new view dot on click listener and you guys will again get familiar with this it's kind of looking sketchy right now but all you need to do is click right here and it will set it up for you and if, if it didn't uh, you know retype it out um, it should give you a little help or Eclipse should give you a little help and then you just click it and it will set that up otherwise you guys can kind of look at how this is set up at the moment and here we go every time the pass or the toggle button is pressed we're gonna want to do something within the on click method so we're gonna go within this bracket and what we're actually gonna do is we're just gonna change <clears throat> our edit text from kinda of the password setup that we did um, basically right now we set up uh, the edit text to have a password uh, set to true and that's gonna kinda of block out whatever we type in give it those little stars or dots or whatever so how we're going to do that is we're going to create an if and else statement. So within here we're going to say if and then we're going to have a bracket. Um, basically we're going to define something. If this is true uh, we're going to do whatever is within this new bracket that we just created. Else, meaning that it's false, we're going to do whatever is within this bracket. So there we go. We have a lot of brackets. I'm going to try and keep those all on the screen so you guys can follow along if you get confused. but. Basically, if you start a new bracket, hit enter, it's going to finish it for you. And then you just do else, new bracket, hit enter again. There we go. We have our thing set up. But what we want to check is if, basically, if the toggle button is set to true or if it's turned on. And if it is, we're going to do something. If, it, if not, we're going to do something in this else statement. So how we're going to define that is by going, um, referencing our, again, variable pass tog, which is our toggle button. So pass tog, and we can hit period and use a method called is checked checked, um, and it's a boolean, basically meaning true or false statement. Those are the only two options. So if it is checked, it's going to be true. If it's false, it's not true. So I mean, if it's not checked, then it's false. Now what we're getting is a error over our pass tog because we're using it within like a sub bracket. Um, out, or basically a sub bracket you guys can think of it and um, or sub method and if we hover over it gives us a recommend, uh, recommendation to change the modifier to the type final so we're gonna click that and what that does is it adds this modifier called final um, right before we define what our variable is now basically what final means is it's not gonna change since this toggle button is always gonna have this reference bridge over to the XML and not going to change from that refer reference bridge we need to say that it's going to be final because that's never going to change it's always going to be that reference so what we can do is say if is toggled um, basically that's the majority of the lesson I want to show you guys is this if, if or else but we're actually going to get into the coding of uh, setting setting up the input type for the most part if we want it to be a password type or a regular text in the next tutorial. So get kind of familiar with this layout again. We set the on click listener and we set up an if or else statement within our on click method. And we also set this to final because that reference is never going to change 
and that will allow us to access that variable within these sub methods as well. So thanks again for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.